if the function f x is equal to 2 by x sin k1 plus 1x k2 minus 1x x less than 0 for when x is equal to 0 and this when x is greater than 0 is continuous at x equal to 0. So this function is continuous at x equal to 0. That means LHL, RHL and the value of the function at x equal to 0 must be same. For any function to be continuous, these three should be same. Now what will be LHL? LHL will be limit x tends to 0 minus and we'll be selecting the first folder when x is less than 0. So it will be sign of k1 plus 1 times x plus sign of k2 minus 1 times x divided by x multiplied by this 2. So 2 we can take outside the limit. It is constant in multiplication. Now for solving this limit, either you can use the standard result that sin theta by theta is tending to 1 when theta is tending to 0. I'm using LH rule in which we differentiate numerator and denominator separately. So differentiation of sine will be cos, cos of k1 plus 1 x and because of chain rule we need to multiply by k1 plus 1. Similarly for the second term also we will be writing cos of k2 minus 1 x multiplied by k2 minus 1 and differentiation of denominator x will be 1. Now you put x equal to 0 you will be getting cos of 0 is 1 and k1 plus 1. So k1 plus 1 and similarly cos of 0 is 1 and k2 minus 1. So we get it as 2 times k1 plus k2. This is your LHL. Now RHL is what? Let's go for RHL. So RHL is limit x tends to 0 plus and we have 2 by x times again we have 2 in multiplication so let's take it outside and log we have 2 plus k1 x by 2 plus k2 x so we have a property in log that log a by b is log a minus log b using that property we can write it as log of 2 plus k1 x minus log of 2 plus k2 x here we have used the property that log of a by b is log a minus log b Base is E here. When we are writing ln means log is having base E throughout. Base is E. And for that we write ln. Now again use LH rule. Differentiate numerator and denominator. For denominator differentiation is 1. Very simple. For numerator we will be using chain rule. So ln differentiation is 1 by input. So 1 by 2 plus k1x. And using chain rule k1 will come. Similarly here also k2 by 2 plus k2x. And the moment you plug the value of x equal to 0, you get it as 2 times k1 minus k2. Now what is f of 0? f of 0 is given as 4. So that must be equal to 2 times k1 plus k2. And it must be equal to 2 times k1 minus k2. Uh, I think it is k1 by 2, my mistake. This is k1 by 2 and this is k2 by 2. So this will be k1 minus k2. So from here we are getting it as k1 plus k2 is equal to 2 and k1 minus k2 is equal to 4. This linear equation in two variables which you are solving from childhood. So let's find k1 and k2. k1 is 3, k2 is minus 1. What we have to find finally? We need the value of k1 square plus k2 square. So it will be 3 square plus minus 1 square which will be 10. And yes, that is the answer given.